Hey everybody. Let's say, for example, you are a live streamer. You um, stream your gameplay to a platform like Twitch, for example. Or maybe you want to become a live streamer. Then this is interesting for you. Because uh, let's say you're a successful live streamer. So on average, you have uh, at least four to five people watching you. One of them, of course, being yourself and uh, the other ones being your best friends. Um, <clears throat> but one of those friends, uh, he doesn't like Twitch for some reason. Or maybe he got banned. <laughs> uh, and he likes to watch uh, YouTube gamers or maybe Mixer or whatever other platforms are. Now, of course, you'll want to accommodate everyone that likes to watch your stream. Also the one that uh, cannot watch Twitch anymore. So how can you solve that? Well, one way would be uh, to use a service online called Restream, but that's going to cost you money. And um, while there is also a free option available, and um, I'm here to tell you about the free option that I also built myself. And I want to explain how I did it, so you can do it also for yourself if you choose to. Um, not in this video yet. I'm going to make two or three new movies uh, and I'll be uploading them the first one today actually after this one and the other one soon. Um, so make sure to uh, keep an eye on that. Perhaps even subscribe so you get a notice when it uh, when it is uploaded. Yeah, choose the last option. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make a little diagram uh, on how you should visualize this. Um, how it actually works. So Let's see, this is you, and this is your desktop, and you like to play World of Warcraft. Now, you set up your stream before, and you you did it like this. You streamed directly to, to, to Twitch, and um, from, from Twitch, uh, you had a couple of uh, happy viewers. Now, um, this one person that is not allowed or able to or want to watch on Twitch, how are we going to accommodate him? Well, first uh, we're going to stop streaming directly to Twitch and we're going to stream to our local Nginx web server uh, with the RTMP protocol that we still need to build, but more on that later. And what does this live stream server do? Uh, it just listens to your stream and it forwards it to Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer, or whatever platform you choose. And that would result in a total of more happy viewers. Yeah. So who doesn't want to do this? I mean, it's an ideal setup, isn't it? Before you start this project, <laughs> because it is a project, it will take some time, not a lot, but um, uh, think of how, many, how much bandwidth you have, and uh, if it's uh, worthwhile starting this project. I have a 100 Mbit uh, network uh, connection, fiber connection I mean, and I stream to three platforms at the same time and each of the streams has uh, 3000 kilobits, kilobytes per second. So um, yeah, my total bandwidth upload will be 9000 kilobits, kilobytes, whatever. I can afford it, but if you have a DSL connection, uh, yeah, there's no way that's going to work for you. Uh, you should Forget about this whole idea. Then um, you should you could be lucky if you're able to stream towards one location <laughs> with DSL. So um, consider that before you start. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. And if you decide to try this out, uh, it's completely free. Uh, it may take a half an hour to set it all up. If you follow my instruction videos that I'll be uploading later. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching until the end also, and uh, I hope to see you soon when I've uh, uploaded my new videos. Okay, so bye-bye.